Hello, welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. We, it's been, again, it's been about a week since I've played, um, but I, I did rewatch the last couple of episodes just to remind myself of what we had going on, and we're kind of at, I don't want to say an impasse, but just like a, a transitory period. You know, we, we have a fairly okay central base, you know, it definitely could be better, but we're kind of at the point where, like, no matter where we go, unless it's, like, right here, we're gonna have to do something we haven't done before, which makes me nervous, because I feel like I'm one mistake away from this colony being destroyed and this Let's Play being over. Uh, which would suck, because I'm really enjoying this. I really like this game. I think... Um, I'm still not convinced. I did some reading about the Power Transformer on the Oxygen Not Included wiki uh, right before I started recording this. I'm not convinced I have the Transformer set up correctly, but I also am not convinced I have it set up incorrectly. If anything, I think it's kind of just a waste. Like, I did it too early. There's no reason for me to have... A transformer right now but I do think it will accomplish the goal that I set out to accomplish which is to prevent us from wasting as much coal which we were wasting a lot of coal um, when we get our next daily report uh, like with a full day of this transformer going I will see what our power wastage looks like now we do have long commutes uh, we have lots of skill points well wow. One, two, three, five skill points. I, I I was holding off on leveling people up because of morale increases. Um, or like the their minimum morale requirements. Because I our deck our our base is not the prettiest base in the world, and I don't want them to get mad about that. I'm I'm pretty concerned about the temperature situation, as I've mentioned several times over the last few videos. I also am annoyed that you'll see these very first, if I can remember where they were. Maybe nowhere. When I first started building this area out of insulated tile, I specifically was like, oh, I want to use igneous rock because it has a higher, like, thermal conductivity. There it is. It's like just this couple. And I thought, I'm, I'm, I'm this actually, like, legitimately pisses me off. I thought that once I chose this, it was going to stay that way every time I built uh, insulated tile. See, like, I, I closed it, and then I came back, and it's more igneous rock. But for some reason, it was only this, like, first four tiles we built, and then everything else here is sandstone, which isn't nearly as good. Um, you can see sandstone has no special properties. This low thermal, uh, the, the low thermal conductivity of insulated tile slows any heat passing through it. So it's still better than regular tile made out of sandstone. But then if you go to igneous rock, it has a higher overheat temperature and slow heating, which the slow heating is the important part. The overheat temperature, like, I don't know what the overheat temperature is, but it's extremely high. I don't think this room is necessarily at risk of hitting there, although this room is quite hot. Um, you can see... Yeah, it's in the 50s, although I do think it's cooled off a little bit. I thought it was like uh, in, uh, like 60 degrees at one point, although it is still very hot in some areas. Um, and like our tile is doing an okay job. But it look at like this tile, you can see 27 degrees versus 29 degrees. And maybe that's because it's just further away. But I'm, I'm annoyed that this is not made out of igneous rock. Um, and I, I don't know really how I would go about fixing that without tearing apart the whole thing. I guess I could build, like, an igneous rock shell around it. What I am going to do, before I forget, with igneous rock, is I want to, like, wall this place off. Um, we're probably we're not going to do tile up here, or uh, igne uh, insulated tile up here, but, like, this area is hot, and I'm afraid I'm going to, like, accidentally break into it um, on accident. I Accidentally on accident. English is my first language, by the way. Um, so I just want to, like... Maybe I'm, like, exposing myself even more by unnecessarily digging up this way, which is certainly possible. Um... But... Let's 
it's just honestly because this ladder exists there's like no reason for this to be over here for right now so let's just do that and uh you are all igneous rock i don't know how much igneous rock we have 200 kilograms we actually don't have that much at all so we're kind of using it maybe i i, I thought we had more than that I, I might need to reassess how much does one we're actually like literally out that that used all of our insulated or our igneous rock so now if we want to expand this way like i, I was thinking about changing like uh, rebuilding this reservoir with igneous rock to stop this water from heating up too much although i don't as long as we don't dig further down here like we could maybe come at it from this way but as long as we don't release this i think we're okay because this area is only like in the upper 20s which is fine for this water in fact it's actually might kind of kill some of these germs maybe not really um i want to i know at the end of the last video we talked about exploring up here i still want to do that i want to see what's in here although i don't i'm afraid it might be kind of dangerous a security door interesting um there's more copper i don't know if there's like a way to do a search uh of the map like if i could just type uh apparently f pulls up the consumables overlay by the way which reminds me we need to deal with our food because food is another issue we're running into right now um but i wish i could just say like is there igneous rock anywhere on this map that i can see and then it would show it to me um, but I, if that's the thing, I don't know how to do that. Um, I guess for now, I'm just going to live with this and hope we can, I mean, maybe granite or obsidian or something can also, what else can we make a uh, insulated tile out of? Granite. Okay. Which has a higher overheat temperature, but it doesn't have the slow heating. This is sedimentary rock and is thermally reactive which requires yeah so that would be a bad uh insulated tile although it, it heats and cools quickly so maybe i could see specific applications for that like if you're in a a room you need to keep cold but your base is hot maybe i don't know i don't know actually but like maybe you could like put a bunch of ice makers in that room and just like keep it really cold i don't know but i feel like you'd still rather just have regular insulated tile and also have ice makers in that room. Um, I'm, I'm very worried. We don't have that much water. We... I don't know. This episode is going to be kind of weird. It's we're, I'm just trying to figure out what we're doing without ruining everything. So I'm going to put us on speed one for a little tiny bit. I want them to dig this out. I want them to build this. Although this is all unreachable. What's the temperature? This temperature is fine. I just want you to get high enough to build this stuff. I don't need to dig up these plants for now. I'm like, what is what is more thermally protective? Insulated tile or like a bunch of layers of rock? Because it might be a bunch of layers of rock. Yeah, actually, let's cancel this for now. Sorry. I told you this is going to be, like, all over the place. And then let's just, like... Let's just do... This? Well, that doesn't need to... Oh my god. Even this... But I was actually doing it for this farm. Because, like, look, this is 26 degrees. That's only four degrees away from being too hot. So maybe I do this. I don't know. I don't feel great about it. I don't feel great about it. I need to get these lights up and running. I mean, it's not the biggest priority in the world. Do you think we have two, we have pigtails and someone else working on farming? Yeah, Liam is also helping out with farming. All right, we can go up to speed two. Speed one is a little slow. Should get, we're gonna get a little more flooding, but that should be honestly fine. As 
long as you don't get entombed like we saw down here. Research. Exosuit. Okay, that's good. Um, I would like to research HVAC now. That way, if we run into a temperature problem, we could at least pretend we know what we're doing and like start running a thermoregulator. I don't know where we would dump the hot gas. Like, maybe we could just continue to turn this into a... Does that mean it's too hot? Hosty surroundings, yeah. I'm, I honestly should... I'm probably gonna have to set up this area with, like, an exosuit. Does an exosuit uh, defend against heat? Where does, where does exosuit... I would assume it's stations. Yeah, Atmo suit. Exo suit, okay. There's the difference between an Atmo. Oh, we need refined metal. Shh, uh, I forgot about that. So, how do we make refined metal? We. Well, really? Oh, wait, maybe it's this? It's not. Yeah, okay, here it is. Smelting. That'll be our next priority after HVAC. But I'm... Atmos suits are give you oxygen. What is an exosuit? Does that just, like, make you stronger? Allow you to carry more stuff? Um, this was over here. doesn't say it just it just says it allows you to build exosuits but I'm I mean they're not gonna be spending time in here other than the refuel the coal generator so hopefully I don't know I'm worried that this is gonna turn into like a death box honestly like let, let's put you on like even like 15 percent like might suck if it goes out in the middle of the night, but that's okay. We're not getting into any slime, are we? No. Let's leave the oxalite. Oh, you're not even really emitting oxygen, so it's probably not the end of the world. We'll see. I don't know. I don't think they'll be able to get through there without getting a two-tile space. Um. Might as well get some more crown molding going. Oh, because there's not a wall there, there's a ladder. So I can just do this. And that. Oh, come on. Oh, there's a, again, there's a ladder there. I'm, I'm just dumb. Um, insufficient oxygen generation. I do remember, yeah, we had a slight issue with oxygen. Like, it's mostly fine. Please dig that up. Please mop all of that. And then we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do over here. Now, where are we going to put our new oxygen generator? We have two down here, but, like, the, we need a carbon sink. But the problem is, like, where the... Where is a carbon sink going to go? There's too much heat. I guess I could put it below for now. Um, as much as I hate to. Alright, and we're out. Oh, no, we're not out. There's no need to go that deep, but yeah, let's at least do that. And then you can turn this into a... carbon sink for now. Um, I mean, honestly, just get rid of all of this. I don't really know what to do with it. And then that'll actually spread this water out and we'll be able to mop it up finally. Is there anything even in here at this point? 
have 3,000 uh, kilograms of polluted dirt, but we can just compost that. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, no, we, okay, we're making a lot of mush bars. Do we have anyone else to help with food? Because I want to, like, make mush bars and make mush fry at the same time. So cooking... Oh, doesn't new duplicates. Two. And we really need to spec someone else in. So who has our lowest morale, or like the lowest morale requirements? Two people who don't have skills. Uh, Lord Manderley. What's your cuisine? Two. This will give you, this will let you grill. So yeah, you do that. And then also let's get like as many of these going as we can. We do have one raw egg, apparently, so why don't you do that? Pickled meal. This is grizzly. So why would I do that versus a lice loaf, which is only terrible, you know, so much better. This is I mean I so pickled meal looks like it has more calories. But I would rather them enjoy the food more. So yeah, let's just do that. And then uh, I did... No, I didn't. Pigtails is at... Whatever, you can be at regular, and then... Who was it? Lord Manderley? Yeah, you can be at one. Got a lot of different things going on here. Um, I'm not in a super hurry to get, like, any of them done. I guess I will put down a ladder here, and then, like, a sweep order. We had a lot of issues in, over the last couple of episodes with uh, dupes being idle, so I would like to prevent that. Now, where's the looted dirt? Yes, yeah, sweep that up at, like, a priority eight. Again, it's not, the, it's not the end of the world, it just bothers me specifically. You could probably get rid of the door, <laughs> to be honest. Um, we should... Also probably swap this for like a manual airlock at some point. Uh, but again, eventually I'm going to want to turn this, assuming if the Atmos food pr uh, Atmo suit protects against heat, then I'm going to turn this into a like real airlock situation. I'm going to like seal this area off or just like lock it and make them come through this way. Um, but you also have to train people to be able to use suits. Um, does anyone have improved carrying? I should have that, because I'm running around hiding a lot. Can someone in unentomb this, please? Dig? I know you're going to bed. Wow, sorry. I'm just pushing all the wrong buttons. I'm sorry, did that say 10,000 germs? Oh, it's on the toilet, not on you. But we should still... What's, uh... What are the germs? Three... Th Thousand. Oh, okay. It's not as bad as I thought. Nine thousand. They disinfect at ten thousand, so they should take care of that on their own. Supposedly, you can use polluted water to cool your base as well. Like it gets colder than regular water, which doesn't really make any sense to me. But sure. Um. So maybe that's something we'll deal with at some point. I'm probably like, why? How could you possibly be idle? There's so much to do. I'm going to give them, like, just a couple of seconds to figure stuff out. Oh, my God! How did that happen? Um, I don't really know what to do about this, because I, I guess I'm just going to have you... Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I guess I have to destroy this, because, like, I can't build a ladder... Uh, no, hold on. Here's what I do. This is not the most efficient way to do this. It's gonna, but I'm gonna make the colony come save them. Oh, maybe they'll be able to. I didn't think they'd have the resources to actually build any of this, but apparently they do. 
So once they get, yeah, I was about, I was about to say that that's gonna hit this water unless unless it all goes down right here, and it'll hit this water. But I'd rather it hit this water. Um. Okay, it looks like it's all gonna drop down the ladder. Okay. You're gonna do it too. Now, yeah, you run to the bathroom. Run to the bathroom. Was weird okay now you can clear that and you can destroy that i apologize that's i i mean it's not i really don't want to take responsibility for that that's kind of uh like you shouldn't have built it on that side like i feel like the ai should be smarter than that but they're not did you really bring that all the way down here like why not just go right there there's a reason I have that on both sides for you. Micro Musher does not have water. Okay, you can get water. Although we do need to move the pitcher pump down. HVAC is researched, so now we're going to go towards refined metal, which was up here. Um... I, man, I really wish we had an ice biome. Then I could just set up my metal refinery like there and not worry about it. So yeah, as soon as you get this water, I'm going to destroy this pitcher pump and drop it down. Oh, apparently you were about to use it, but that's okay because I'm going to rebuild it immediately. You don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, that should be good. Sorry, I like the 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 pitcher pump and the stem are changing at different speeds, so I kept thinking like oh I could actually go one taller and it would still reach the bottom, but then the stem would catch up to the pitcher pump and I was like what what is happening here? So yeah, let's make that priority nine and then let's make the rest of our builds like not priority nine. That was just cause we had to help our boys. And you you don't get a priority, okay. You just use it whenever you need it, that makes sense. Sorry that you have to deal with this, but, uh... Oh, man. Oh, man. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. More. As soon as you dig this stuff out, you'll be able to mop up the water. I don't know why you weren't coming down from this side, but is this like unreachable? It shouldn't be. Um, I've also wanted you to compost this for like ever, and you haven't been doing it. This should be moddable now. Sand, man. Alright, yay. Um, eventually, I think I'm just gonna seal this side off and build more insulated tile. Uh, at least, like, in this little area. I really don't understand why you couldn't come from this way, but whatever. This also gave us some more resources. Um, we haven't gotten up here yet, but that's okay. This is probably a better priority for us, because it will create a carbon dioxide sink. Again, sorry for the, like, more... Not even low-key, just kind of, like, completely confused, I don't know what I'm doing episode we have here. Um... I just don't know what I'm doing. Like, I, I'm, I'm so scared of messing up, which, like, is which is dumb, because, like, the whole point of this game is to mess up and learn from your mistakes. But I've never done it publicly, and I don't want people to make fun of me. We need more showers, probably, and honestly, probably more lavatories as well. You guys can come do this anytime you want, by the way. I just want you to always have stuff to do. 
We could maybe set up... I, I've, I've mentioned this a hundred times, but we could set up a ranch as well. Um, and then we could... How did you get up there? Literally how? Now we have we have hatches everywhere that we don't know what to do with. So yeah, I really should look up what you do with ranching. Um, critter feeder. Where how do you how do you like domesticate them or tame them? Attracts one type of airborne critter. Critter drop off. Okay, but where's the trap? I still don't think we can afford... Nice. How do you... Okay, I'm actually going to look this up. Because I want to take the ice. Just because eventually we probably will need it. But I don't. I want to make sure I know how to store it. Because we're not going to use it right now. And I don't want it to, like, melt. I mean, I guess we could melt it and turn it into water. That's not the worst idea. Um... The wiki won't load? Okay, there. Um, mining anything, including ice, will destroy 50% of the original mass. Melting it will keep it. Okay. I did not know that. That mining destroyed 50% of the original mass. I mean, I guess for most things, like, you don't really have a choice. But ice, you could just melt it instead of mining it. So that makes sense. Um... I don't see, like, how you store it. I, I guess you just store it in a storage bin, but then, like, the temperature of the storage bin affects the temperature of the ice. So, yeah, we probably aren't going to be able to keep this frozen because I'm not going to, like, specifically build a room just to... just to, uh... freeze the ice. But I will take the ice, and then maybe we could just get some water from it. Um... I wish there was a way to just, like, say, put it in this water. Where the hell did you come from? What? Oh, you must have been up there. I bet that's blocking, yeah, the liquid pump. So I bet it's not pumping. Let me go to F6, the super convenient button. Yeah, there's not, there was water already in the pipes that they got to use a little bit of, but there's not more water coming, so that'll be a priority when they wake up. Um, and then this... I guess. Sweep it, but then, like, where... Should I build, like, a mesh tile and then a storage bin just for ice and then it'll drip down as it melts? I don't know if that would necessarily work, but we can give it a shot. I would say this dig needs to be a priority nine. Thank you. Then I'll build gas reservoir. Okay, interesting. How much lice loaf do we have? Or meal lice, sorry. Not a whole lot. Um, and we actually, we do have, oh, we have a lot of bristle berries. We must have gotten our first harvest. And there's still some more down there. So we could, is there anything you could... The grilled bud of a gristleberry. So this takes 1,600 calories and gives you 2,000 calories, and it's poor. We are really upping our food quality here. Um, I want to just look at the gristleberry itself, if I can. Oh, bristleberry, excuse me. I guess there's not really a way to do that. I didn't mean to dump you all out. Yeah, so just do this as well, like, as long as you have resources. We now have um, smelting. That was fast, because we had to go through, like... Oh, no, we already had fire pole. Never mind. So now what? Now, like, maybe some more decor, since there's nothing we immediately need. Um, home luxuries, comfy bed, plastic ladder, plastic tile. Significantly increases run speed. Interesting. Fine art. High culture. Renaissance art. We don't have anyone with, like, super high art. 
Um, like a comfy bed, maybe, would be nice. Restores additional stamina. I don't have... Is this made out of plastic? I don't have any way to make plastic, as far as I know. Let's go for fine art. Power usage came up, but then went away. Sorry. Again, I, I, until we have a power disaster, I'm going to assume our transformer is working, which is maybe not the best idea. Why can't you... I don't want you to sweep. I want you to compost. Sorry, you must have caught, caught in our sweep order, but why can't you compost? You can, you're just choosing not to. Oh, wait. What? What? Oh, you like passed your compost date or something? Now you're just like, can be crushed to produce lime. Produced by a rock crusher. We could build a rock crusher, I think, unless we haven't researched that, but I thought we did. Isn't that necessary to get to... Yeah, so... Also, we're way over time. Sorry, I got distracted by doing nothing in this episode. We're not way over time. I am going to look at this rock crusher real quick. Refinement, probably. Inefficiently produces refined materials from raw resources. I'm assuming you don't... Oh, you do output heat, you... Little 16 kilodaltons. What is what is this output? A thousand one wait. Nine kil so you're telling me a rock crusher outputs like fifty percent more heat than a coal generator? Are you serious? What? Alright, I don't care about lime enough to do that at the moment. So, I guess... Is there no way to, like, store... I guess, well, let me look at all of what we're storing. Um... I guess you could hold on... No, just the eggshell. This one is just gonna be for ice, so let me do that right now. Um, and then is there anything else? I think that's it. So now, God knows I'm not going to be able to find all of my storage bins. As long as there's some. I mean, most of these are full anyway, so it's not like they could take anything new, even if I wanted them to. I'm just trying to make sure they all have the same settings, so I can copy from any of them when I build new ones. I think I got them all. I probably clicked on all of these twice already, I just want to make sure. Okay, I think that's probably good. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video here. Still don't really know what I'm aiming for at this point. I think we're just trying to keep the ship steady until a more obvious opportunity presents itself. Um, again, like this is all really great. It's I feel like it's acting as like a temperature buffer. And there's not, I mean, it's not like we need sandstone or algae. If we do, we can always come up here. But there's no, like, super valuable resources there. Um, we have our new carbon sink, which is nice. Um, but we have a lot of oxygen in here that can't get out. Which is... And it's polluted oxygen, though, so it's, it's breathable. Never mind. I, I forgot that polluted oxygen shows up as light blue. Uh, which... Like, I understand, because, like, it is still oxygen, you can still breathe it, but it makes them sick, so I wish it was a kind of a different color. Um, yeah. I, I, anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm rambling. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, please feel free to give me suggestions, and I will happily take those, and... Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.